Hey everyone, good morning. It's Monday, August 3rd, and it's time for Cricket Chat with me, Rita, from Miss Rita to the Rescue, and my super barky dogs, my corgis, Teddy Bear, and Benji, and we're starting off the month, well, the first cricket chat day of the month of August with some fun summer um, projects, uh, including this one. It's a flamingo card. Um, I labeled this, good morning, good morning, everyone. Um, I labeled this Let's Flamingo because uh, I just love this little card and it's free um, and it can be adjusted to be made on the joy, of course. This is the envelope. You know, I don't normally make my own envelopes. Excuse me, but this is a different sized card, um, and you could put a, a greeting in here. But I just thought that flamingos are sort of a very um, social and they're very popular bird. <laughs> Um, and they sort of scream summer. Um, oh, great. You did make this card. Um, I wanted to show people how you can use um, free files. And this one's from Dreaming Tree, which is a, it's a SVG company that does mostly 3D SVGs, but they offer up dozens of free SVGs. And... <coughs> Excuse me. The free SVGs, I hadn't talked all morning. I don't know. My throat's a little bit um, crummy. But um, so the free SVGs that they offer are simpler than, than the regular um, SVGs. And they're very, very generous with them. And they can all be used in Cricut Design Space. And I'm going to show you how. And I thought this would make a real good kickoff for some flamingo and summer projects. I'm going to go back to using Cricut Design Space uh, later on in the week. And I'm going to spend the week just doing summer projects because we're at that place where it's like we're not sure what's happening with uh, school and and uh and it's sort of middle of summer maybe this is the dog days of summer i don't know but let's work on some projects that you know an unexpected card in the mail or given to your you know friends just to sort of say let's flamingo a little um i thought would be a fun thing to do so anyway this is a um yeah there Constance is saying that Dreaming Tree has videos um, for their SVGs, for most of their SVGs, actually. <coughs> Excuse me. Most of their SVGs. But um, they are pretty long. Uh, Leo, <laughs> he acknowledges that, that they can be a little... You're starting school this week, Sharon? Where are you located? Our kids, I don't know what's going on with our kids up here in Massachusetts. My son and I were, were trying to decide what we're going to do um, or what's going to happen. He goes back to school. Usually they go back to school on Labor Day week or right after Labor Day weekend. But I figured, you know, let's stop, you know, the back to school stuff um, for a little while, at least for a week. And we can just work on some summer projects that I've done um, in the past. Oh, Mississippi. Okay. Mississippi. Yeah, you guys go back earlier, but you get out earlier too. Our kids generally don't get out until June. And then we have snow days and all of that, which I'm sure you don't have to deal with. So <laughs> so anyway, let me show you a little bit about um, this card, which is again from Dreaming Tree. To get to Dreaming Tree, we are going to go to the um, web address 3dsvg.com. Um, it's that's their URL, 3dsvg.com. So you can type that in. It's called Dreaming Tree, but that's their S, that's their URL. So we're going to go to the free SVG files, which is up here, second one in from the left. And you'll notice that they have just oodles and oodles of free files. It goes all the way to, I, I think they have over 15, maybe. 
15 pages, no, 11 pages of files. And um, there's from all different um, times of the year and for all the occasions. We've done a couple of these in the past. Um, so this is really a fun place to go. We could probably do this little, <coughs> pardon me. We could probably do this little um, book bag, treat bag, um, that I found here free. And the great thing about this is that their files can be used in Cricut Design Space. So when you're going through and you're looking at the files, what you need to do is you, when you select the file that you want, um, you can just go ahead. Let me just try to look for my Flamingo one. I'm going to go up here and do search instead. Flamingo. Okay. And it will bring me to my flamingo. There it is. So what you have to do is you just have to add this to your cart. You do need to set up like a, you know, an account, but it doesn't cost anything because obviously it's free. So you add it to your cart and then you can go to the cart and you have to just go ahead and proceed to check out just like you were placing an order, but it doesn't cost anything. So once you have filled in all of your information, you hit place order. And again, no cost. It just, that's how they do it on their site. Um, and let's see. Okay. So then you're going to do hit this box, Flamingo card, free SVG. It's right under the download. So you hit this box and you'll see, depending on your computer, mine comes down um, into my Macintosh here into my download space. Oh, it's my computer, slow. Okay, to my download space. <coughs> oh, man. Um, and it will be listed in my downloads. Sometimes they'll come down and they'll be in a zip file. And by the way, you can do this all in the iPad um, as well. So if you have an iPad or even a, um, a phone, iPhone, I'm not sure about Android devices, but you can download files um, from from the web svg files from the web uh to your iphone and use it in design space i've shown you that before happy to show it to you again but um so what you get in this download is uh let me find a verse okay so here's the flamingo card and what you get usually with anything from dreaming tree is you get a picture of what the product you're you're buying or you download looks like so that's good for reference and then you also get a pdf menu which will tell you what you need like so this requires a sheet of white cantaloupe a sheet of black salmon lagoon peony and pool you obviously don't um, need to follow that color scheme you can change it i changed mine a little bit because i couldn't find that light blue um, and they also have uh, a few optional things there, including rhinestones. He really likes to put rhinestones on things. <laughs> and, um, and then they show you a picture of every single SVG. Now, the thing about um, their, their SVGs, let's go to a new one. We'll save this. The thing about their SVGs is that you have to upload each individual layer of the SVG. Um, it's just how they do it with other designers. Sometimes they'll group them all together, but with these, you have to um, upload each layer separately, okay? So you do that by starting off with a blank screen, um, a blank canvas, and you're gonna go over here to upload, okay? This is where you would bring in SVGs um, or anything you, you happen to uh, purchase or find that you want to turn into a cut file for Cricut, okay? So we're going to go to upload images and what we do is we're going to browse our files. That's why you download. So here's our, let's go find our flamingo card. Here it is. Okay, so under the 
underneath this folder, it says SVG. These are all the files that you're going to have to pull in. Couple things to point out. He has an envelope and I would actually recommend bringing in the envelope because it is a special size uh, envelope and might as well. Um, and then also down here, if you're not somebody that likes the dashed, because what they do for their, for their, um, for the score is they use a dashed cut line um, and they do that for the envelope too. If you're someone who has a maker and you want to use um, your scoring wheel or you have a scoring stylus, you want to use your scoring stylus, you could go to this part where it says solid score lines and you'll notice that each of those layers are start with SS. So I'm going to show you that because I think people have some questions about that. So we're going to have to click on each one open it and it says solid score lines. Now obviously not every single piece of the SVG requires solid score lines, but um, he did do it that way. So what we're doing is we're downloading all or, or uploading actually all of the um, pieces of the SVG and the solid score lines here. Um, a couple other things I'm going to talk to you about too. So this requires a solid score line or you have to have the dashed score lines. So we're definitely going to upload that. And let me just keep going. <coughs> Almost done. I'm going to do the envelope. Now, you know what? I... Yeah, it does have it. Okay, good. All right, so the envelope. Okay, so when you have a file that has solid score lines, what you need to do is once you have all of these, and these are all the pieces, so we're gonna just touch on each one of them, highlight them with that green box, and then we're gonna insert it. Okay, so when you have something that has solid score lines, you still need to make changes to this uploaded file. So don't just assume that it comes in with what's called solid score lines. It's going to be okay to do solid score lines and put in your either your stylus or your wheel. What it actually a solid score line is, it's in Design Space is a cut file. So right around here, you see that this is the envelope, see this square around here? That's actually gonna cut. So if you were not to make this next move, you would end up with a piece that was cut, that square round instead of scoring, okay? So to rectify this, you will need to go up to this layer right here, and you'll see under the envelope, and it gets highlighted by the way. So under this envelope, there are two layers, one says, cut and it's the outline of where you want the scoring to be and then it has the other one says cut and it's the actual big piece so you're going to choose this part here that says cut with the outline where scoring is so highlight that and go over here to line type at the very top line type and you use the pull down menu and you change it to score Okay, and you will actually notice it looks like the dashed cut lines, but it's not. It's scoring. I know there's it's a little confusing, um, so just be aware of that. Now, once you change your score lines, you can then make sure you attach it. So this is actually one extra, um, one extra thing that you have to do. Okay. So this has a score line, and the only other one that has a score line is the card itself. So we're going to do that again. Let me just move all these pieces out of the way. Okay, um, so again, this is what they are calling a solid score line, but it's really actually a cut. So we're going to go over to our layers to where it says cut, it's highlighted, go up here, to line type and choose score, okay? Then we have to select both and attach.
One of the things I noticed, and I'm not really sure why he does this, but a, a number of the pieces on this file and a couple other files I've seen have like an extra little dot in them. Like you can hardly see it. I'm going to try to get closer, but it annoys me <laughs> to the point where I just don't like it. I mean, it wouldn't cut out anything. I don't know why it's there, but if you wanted to get rid of that little tiny dot, you would just go down to contour down here and you notice in the contour space there is our little dot up here don't know why it's there I'm sure there's a reason but if you want to get rid of it you can just click on that on the right hand side and it will be gone see that same thing here with the with the black don't ask me why they it comes in this high for percentage but it does so here's our little dot that we want to get rid of are there any others there's one here on the card now if you already um attach this you'd have to detach it and choose the layer the part that is Actually, I think you have to ungroup it too. So you choose that layer that has the dot and go to contour and just get rid of it and then come back and attach it. That's the eye. What does that mean, Lori Jo? That's the eye? Oh, that's for the eye. No, don't know if it's for the eye. Is it really? Because it doesn't actually cut out anything. But again, it just might be because I'm a little bit, you know, kind of kooky about things. So anyway, so once you have uh, done the change the score, that cut line to scoring, um, you're ready to cut this out. And I'm going to cut this out. I'm going to show you what it looks like. So it comes in at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces. Remember my little trick where I always cut it out twice um, to use the to use the up the material or if you want to do with scraps. Um, for instance, if you wanted to put this black piece, um, the I don't know about the yellow piece because you have this. You might be able to do that. But if you want to take the smaller pieces, like this one, and move it to another mat so that you can actually cut out with several different um several different colors on the same mat. Remember how you do that? You go to this triple dot here and you choose move object. So I can move this pink piece over to the black piece and use, and you'll notice it changes color. That's fine. But let's say I have two pieces, a piece of black and a piece of pink, and then we can put it on our, on our one mat. Um, and then you notice this, I, this mat gets eliminated. Um, there, are there any other pieces that we can change? Possibly this one. We could definitely move this um, to wait to the black piece. Um, and we can put it here under six inches. Let's move the next one. So if we have like half a sheet of paper, we could certainly do that and move it over here. So you notice you have to move it on your on your mat where you want. So in this particular mat, I can cut out actually three different colors. Up here is black. Here is that dark pink or watermelon pink. And the second half here is my yellow or sort of orangey yellow. I think they call it cantaloupe. Yes, Terry. So Terry is asking about the joy and I wanted to talk about that. So if you wanted to make this on the joy, the first, first of all, you wouldn't be able to do the, the envelope. So you'd have to make an envelope by yourself. And it's really not that difficult to make an envelope um, that, you know, that I don't need to show you that. But if you want to make this on the joy, so let me go back. If you want to make this on the joy, Let's get rid of the envelope. The only item that does not fit to cut on a joy is actually this piece, which is fine because I'm going to show you what you're going to do. Um, to cut out this 
in the on the joy, what I would suggest you do is to actually cut this file in half, like right here where the score line is. It also can't do score line, so you have to remove the score line. So to do that, I would put in a shape, a square that we're going to change the size to. So we're going to change it to be like right where that score line is, see that? And I just I just unlocked it and I stretched it. But before I do a slice, I'm going to make sure that I get rid of that score line. I have to detach it. Oops. Detach it. And so here is that score line and I just highlighted it. I'm going to exit off, okay? I'm going to move my move my uh, card over there. So exit off. Now, what you're going to do is select both the square or the rectangle, really, the square and the piece that had the score line. And you're going to go down here to slice. Once you slice it, you'll end up with two pieces. You can get rid of this. You don't need this anymore. You'll end up with two pieces. So there's your card in two pieces, which is good because this is a shaped card. And so you need this part for the card, but you also need the back of the card. But what I would also suggest you do is to add a little bit extra to the back of the card to create a tab so that you can then um, change and add to here, um, add a little tab so that you're able to uh, connect the two pieces together. Does that make sense to people who are using Joy? Um, because that's how you would cut it. You wouldn't be able to cut this whole piece together so you'd have to actually cut it off and you can either cut this with the with your personal trimmer or with your joy it doesn't matter and then you're going to attach them together this way and to attach them together what I would suggest is if you add an extra little piece here you can glue it on the inside edge of the of the card that's how you can achieve that with the joy. Um, okay, so um, that all being said, let me show you how you put this together. Uh, we have a birthday. Let's say happy birthday. Um, Saturday night, you asked me to tell you today that it's my birthday week. My actual birthday is tomorrow, though. This flamingo card is a perfect project. Wonderful. So happy birthday to Lynn. Yes, on Saturday night, um, we did talk about uh, what we're going to do for projects in August. And Lynn um, is reminding me that I said, tell me that it's your it's your birthday. So I will remember because I surely will forget. And I did, of course. Um, so um thank you happy birthday and um actually lynn if you want to send me an email um miss rita to the rescue at gmail um dot com and with your with your address i will send you a special treat for it being your birthday and you reminding me and coming back too thank you um okay so let's put this together it's really not difficult um to put together but what i would like to do is i'm actually going to go and to my original project um and just cut out the envelope because i already have enough to uh, to put together the card um so i just want to cut out the envelope because i want to show you how the envelopes goes together so i'm just going to put the envelopes together and it's two pieces it's this piece and this piece it does require a 12 by 12 piece of paper um and again i don't usually make my own envelopes but i am going to do it for this time um and by the way if you i'm going to just move it over here if you are cutting out from 
3D SVG and you don't have a maker with the scoring wheel, I would suggest keeping the dashed score lines because to me, they look just as good or if, especially if you don't have a scoring wheel and, um, and you can do it without any kind of scoring mechanism. So if you didn't have a scoring stylus, um, you can use that dash score line and that's what it's doing now. It's doing the dash score line for the envelope. So I just thought I'd show you that. So we don't need a scoring device in an SVG that has dashed, I call them dashed score lines, but they're really dashed cut lines. So that's useful to know. Okay, so while it's cutting that out, and I'm going to show you how to put it together, let's go over here and I'll show you how to put together the card. It's really actually very simple. Um, we are going to need a, a pen, a black pen for the eye. See here, it has little eye. They didn't account for that. You have to um, put it in. And also remember, we could put a, a little inscription there if we wanted to. So to put it together, it's very basic. This is my card. There's those dashed cut lines again. We're going to fold it at the dashed cut lines. See that? We're going to fold it that way. And then we're just going to piece it together. So it has this green. Um, and then the second half of the green actually goes on the inside of the card like that. And then we have the pink. So this is what I would call a layered card like this. We're going to just glue all these pieces together. So let's start doing that. Where's my glue? Where's my glue? Okay, here we go. My glue. Art glitter glue, as people have asked me a number of times, that's the glue that I use. And I don't use a lot. You don't have to use this glue. I just prefer it. I've used a lot of glues, a lot of different kinds of glues. I just like this one the best. Um, and I'm going to put not a lot of glue. doesn't matter what glue you use. Not a lot of glue, but make sure you get all those pieces that are sticking up. And this part goes on the inside top edge. See that? I think I have allergies or something. I, I apologize. Sorry, guys. Uh, apologize. Okay. And, um... I'm just, you can't see it, but I'm going to put in the flap for the envelope here and let it cut out. Okay, so then we take the next big piece here. And we're going to put a little bit of glue. Now you could just choose to build your flamingo before you put this piece on. Mm. I don't have a preference on how to do that. Like if you put it on first and then put it on the card. And by the way, if you didn't want to go through the hassle of cutting out this shaped card, like if, or if you, you don't feel like you could do that technique that I just showed you, um, you could just cut out the, the flamingo. You know, you don't have to cut out the actual shaped card. Um, you could put the flamingo onto a regular card if you wanted to. A regular card back. That's always an option, especially for joy people. Um, and they don't want to maybe learn that technique. It's really not that hard, but, you know, I can understand being a little bit afraid to do it. So you could always do that. You might want to shrink your flamingo down um, or just cut out a base that is the same um, height and width of to accommodate that flamingo, okay? So we're just doing our layers. I got chastised on YouTube again um, for not doing my layers on Saturday night, not doing it well enough. But in my defense, um, I, I was losing the light and I, I am old. So I have some sight vision problems at night when I, um, I really have to fix the lighting there to make it easier for me to see things as we lose the light. So, but of course somebody noticed. <laughs> oh, well, um, can't make everybody happy. Okay, so here's the beak. 
not you guys here. Um, you guys are always so charming and encouraging. So here's the black piece. We're just putting here to give that black part of the um, beak on there. Did I put enough glue? Maybe not. Maybe just need a little dot there. Okay. And before I put the the um, pretty thing here, I want to put using my black and just kind of eyeball it. But I think the eye would be right here. And I'm just making the eye with my pen. Another good use of the pens. And one of the things you could do here, once you attach the top piece, a little too much glue, I think. Once you attach the top piece to the bottom, is you could also use those foam dots to kind of give this a little bit of, I have my foam dots around here, but I don't. So we're gonna just pretend and we can put the foam dots on the back there and we could have a nice dimensional card. So let's do the envelope because we don't often do envelopes. Um, did I not cut this out? Oh, darn it. All right, so we'll cut out the flap there. Okay, so the envelope, and the reason why you can't do envelopes on the Joy is that they're just too darn big. And that's the reason that and the fact that you can buy envelopes, like 50 packs of envelopes um, for really cheap money, like less than five bucks usually when they're on sale. So I generally do not make envelopes. I just buy them in two sizes. Um, but then you get a card like this that has a very differently shaped um card and so you need a special envelope so um a once in a while i will cut it out so this consists of two pieces and it goes here this is the flap you notice that my <laughs> my card stock still has a sticker on it oh well i suppose i could have done it this way too whatever um and we're just going to put some dots of glue to get the flap on there you will see this when you open up the card, but that's okay. All right, so we put the flap there. And this has the scoring lines all around. So you're just gonna fold it at the four scoring lines. See that? All right, and flip it over. And then we're going to put the glue here on this inside edge instead of putting it here. And I'll tell you why. Because a lot of times envelopes, um, I just got in the habit of doing that because a lot of times envelopes with the sides, they often don't meet up at the top and you end up with extra glue there. You don't want it. So I just have um, trained myself to glue from this flap rather than from this flap. Okay? And that's all an envelope is. It's just a flap with a with a cover. And there's our envelope. Cute, right? I don't know if this um, costs extra money to mail. Um, I, I probably should when I go to the post office uh, later today. I'm going to ask. Yeah, I'm going to ask. Um, and... So um, we'll, we'll ask about the size and what the envelope um, takes for a stamp, and I'll let you know. But that's it. That is so cute, isn't it? It's an adorable flamingo card. It's entirely free. It doesn't, you do not need Cricut access to, because um, a lot of people, well, what if you don't have access? You can always do these free cards um, that you, or free files that you can get in different places. This one happens to be Dreaming Tree. And just, I'll give a little plug for Dreaming Tree. They're really um, a great shop for for very intricate, beautiful, really beautiful, and um, 
files. And let me just show you some of the autumn. These are just autumn files. They do a lot of 3D shapes. So we're going to actually be doing one of these files coming up for the fall. Let me see if I can find it. This one here, because I just love it. It's a fall centerpiece. It only costs $4. Um, and it's four different boxes that say fall on it. And you put little, um, I just like it. You know, you, it's a box and you put like illuminate, like an LED light inside. So I figured we'd do that um, coming up later on in the month. So if you happen to be at 3D SVG or Dreaming Tree and you want to grab this file, you can do that. They do often have these freebies like here. Uh, this is their brand new uh, image set where if you buy if you buy a certain amount, so here it says you you spend nine ninety eight in the shop, and then you type free gift, and you get all three of these layered, um, layered files. I have just about every Dreaming Tree file there is. I haven't made them all yet, so I probably won't pick this one up. But, you know, you come across some that you're just like, wow, that's gorgeous. And here's one that's a recent one. It's a piece on earth with the, you know, with the star, the guiding star. It's just so beautiful that I'll probably end up getting that soon. So anyway, that's streaming tree, 3dsvg.com. I'll put a link in the description of my video so that you know. Um, and that is our flamingo card. So why not make this today or this week? and surprise somebody with a little card, a little special handmade card. I think that would be fun. So that's it for today, our Flamingo uh, card introduction to this summer. But I actually have a number of um, act more flamingo type things, but also some summer things coming up. Remember I told you that we're going to, um, we're going to be doing some summer things and then we'll do some back to school and some fall things as we get closer to September. Um, and I wanted to show you if you are interested and you wanted to do things that are flamingo based, um, there's a whole bunch of flamingo cards. Actually, this isn't the file. This file, including our favorite guy, Rob and guys, Rob and Bob has one down here. Um, that's a flamingo card. We're going to just do another segment on just flamingo cards, I think, um, because these are fun. Includes a pop up, a very simple card, and also the We Just Fit flamingo card from best of Rob and Bob. All of these are free if you're a Cricut Design Space or an Access customer. And then we'll also be looking at a number of uh, summertime uh, images and, and projects as well, all from Design Space. So I think that's going to wrap up today. Um, so that's what you can look forward to this week. And then I think that I said on Saturday night we're going to do text boxes because I think that would be really important um, for a lot of people, especially people making labels uh, that want to have their own text on their label. I think that that's important for people to understand. So that's it for the week uh, uh, for today. And that's what's coming up this week. I'm also going to be starting. I didn't do it yesterday. Um, I had opted to watch a movie with my son, but um, I'm going to be coming up with a uh, thing, a giveaway for my sunflower cutie. So keep on the lookout there for um, information about that too. So I hope everybody enjoyed today and looking forward to this week. Lynn, make sure you send me an email and I'll send you something. Penny, your Cricut cuties on this way. The other winners, I'm going to be putting those in, um, the orders in for those later on this week. So thanks everybody for coming today. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Rita. This is my channel, Miss Rita to the Rescue, and you just watched Cricket Chat. Thanks so much and enjoy your day.